fascinated by people's relationships with their directors, you know, because it's almost like what they see, you know, it's almost like a relationship with a shrink when it's good, if it's a good shrink. How do you, how do you get to that point where you can really trust how a director sees you? Um, trust how a director sees you. I think... Or that, that you can sort of, you know that you're in good hands. Um, God, I... I think you should ask Frank that. I mean, <laughs> no, I, I, don't, I don't think I've... I've uh, yeah. yeah, I was going to say, I think the thing that was so great about Jonathan was I'd had really good experiences and kind of disappointing experiences with directors. I So I knew how it felt when I came by that trust, you know, with that, um, unconsciously. And that trust was there. And I, it was... Uh, we have a very, very open relationship and still do. I just talked to him yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> I look for sexual bond. <laughs> yeah, we have that as well. <laughs> it takes a, uh, a very long time. I've been at it longer than anybody. And, uh, and I don't say this as precious, but since we're all actors, we all know what it's like to go from the dark into the light. We're the only ones who really know what it's like at action to suddenly be naked in front of a lens. So you have to have a director who you know somehow, while he can't do it, knows how vulnerable you are. And a director can crush the soul of an actor with a phrase, mm -hmm. a word. Has it been has it been a long time since a director crushed you? No one ever has. No director ever has. I had to, from a very young age a, a sense of that self-preservation. I think mm -hmm. I wouldn't let anybody. But I've seen it happen. I've seen a director say something that destroyed a performance for the rest of the movie. They never could find them themselves again. I don't think. I don't think a lot of directors really understand how fragile actors are. And I don't mean uh, fragile this way and all right. I just mean it's what you're doing is, you know, someone says action and you have to give the deepest of yourself. And that can be so easily squashed and so easily ruined. And I've seen it many times. You have to be open and yet try and also protect. And you yeah. can imagine the more, the more you do as well, the more feel like you're sort of trying to, you know, you're always good as the last thing you do and you're trying to, you know, you're always out there and it's exactly, you're starting all over again. Different. I heard in Happy Go Lucky because your character was so, it was inundating how optimistic and bubbly she was yeah. and that having to keep that up for all mm -hmm. those weeks actually took a toll. <laughs> Is that true? Um, yeah, I think, well... You sort of every. I think you know every part that you do is always. Sorry, it's got its own challenges and and. But actually, I mean, yeah. I suppose because of the nature of the work, it's quite intense, and you know you're in it. And but she's although she's got this constant state of bubble and positivity, there is um. There's a lot going on underneath, so it wasn't. It didn't feel like a, a sort of a monotone, yeah. sort of one note. It, it, there was totally wasn't. Awesome. But oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, I, I, but I think I suppose that's the same. It's like when you're in somebody else's shoes, it's always like this feels a bit weird. Hmm. You yeah, seem about as unself-protective an actor as I've ever watched on screen. Do you do? Do you let it happen no matter what the director says? Do you ever go to a place where you pull back and you're scared of showing anything because you feel you're being in any way misused? I remember, um, I had no idea I'd mention this person named today, Mr. Jellison, Santa Monica High School, uh, like theater, theater Arts 101, and he was talking about aesthetic distance and, you know, never going 100% fully into what you're doing because that's, that's unbridled and it makes it not safe for other people or whatever. But um, I think that I've, I've had both experiences where I've recoiled from somebody being insensitive, a director, or saying something, or, oh, don't do that, or speaking in metaphors. It's like, that's condescending. But then I've been on the other side of it, too, where I've been more thick-skinned than the actors or actresses around me, and I've seen them take hits because they didn't have appropriate boundaries, you know? Um, I just feel like you're there. You're there to like show up and, and go for it. And it's more a man. It's more of like how am I managing myself internally 
than how are the um, circumstances? Because it's ever so freaky. Down, uh, if they did, I blocked it out or forgot. You know. Can I say it? Can I say it? Yeah. Never go full retard. <laughs> 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 what is that? <laughs> Oh, man. So you're nodding, man. We out there, you know. Shit's on the line.